Is today Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is quite the setup. This yeah. is so amazing. Yeah. Very strategically set up to keep the people from oh, my racing gosh. to the gate. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can't even we see back get here there. At I'll race you to the gates. Oh, seriously? No, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be careful of the person in front of you's feet. Let's not start with a flat tire. Welcome to the Masters. Come on in. Good morning. Well, oh, people are pumped, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is your first time? Yes. What's the first thing you're going to eat? The pimento sandwich. Have you had the pimento? Yeah, he says it's good. I'll slam it down with like a $2 beer. This is Disney World for adults. But way better than Disney World. <laughs> Makes me wish I had never quit golf, which is the only time I've ever said that to myself since I quit golf. This is cool. This is in America at least, the most historic golf course out there. Oh, couldn't have asked for a better pairing this time. David! What's up, man? What you eating? Chicken biscuit. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Ten bucks. Ten bucks? <laughs> Ten bucks? You know, if you went to a normal sporting event, what, this would be 10 bucks. I got a sausage biscuit, a chicken biscuit, a pimento cheese, an egg salad, and some cereal. It's funny, I never thought that you would eat so well at the Masters. What, what are you eating right now? Pimento. Uh, it, it's pimento cheese to start with that. You have to start with the pimento. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's, without a doubt, a camaraderie with the other spectators because you're all on the same playing field. There's no technology, there's no cell phones. Everyone has access to the same things if you're lucky enough to be here. Uh -huh. I've spoken to people today that they don't even care about golf, but it's something that they come to every year. This is something that's more than golf. I mean, this is the tournament that you watched. I always remember Jack Nicklaus in 1986 when he won. Maybe. Yes, sir! And I'll just never forget that putter. And I remember very clearly being like, I have to have one. You know, I'll never forget when Larry Mize beat Greg Norman. I cried. I was so mad because I love Greg Norman so much. I had no idea why Larry Mize won and chipped in. Hey, Chef, what, what should I get? Barbecue. Barbecue? All yes, right. Sir. The food is incredibly affordable. Lines are quick. They work tirelessly to almost hide how excellent they are. Is it true you can get some like weird 12th tea drink here? Stand 12. Stand 12? Yeah. What is it exactly? It's lemonade, sports drink, and spray. Oh, done. Sign me up. All right. How about this? We're gonna do this. Oh, oh, there you go. Fermented cheese chicken sandwich. There you go. There you go. Get some texture in there. All in one. Yeah. Good? Good. Good. You think not having cell phones actually enhances the experience here? Take your time and enjoy the activity. You don't need no phone. Not when you got a good cold beer. <laughs> How long you guys been coming here? I've been coming about 35, 40 years. I used to work out here in high school on the school boards. Got paid twenty five dollars a week. Yeah. Was the food always the same? Has the menu uh, changed at all? No. The menu had changed. Prices changed just a little bit. Right? Yeah, not much. You no, know, not much. Not much. It's amazing. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> but it's it's just amazing. It, it amazes me every year. People how they you know come from all different parts of the world. And that's again what's amazing is you get the sense of history. At least I did, and I start thinking about all of these moments, great shots, the heartbreak of people losing, and like how things haven't changed. But weirdly enough. What's happened here is a lot have changed. That's cool. And 
it's a strange balance that you don't see too often. And it's not even about golf per se, it's about something that is not like anything else. What makes this timeless is the fact that over all of these years they made a commitment to excellence and you're able to experience something today as someone 80 years ago might have experienced. That's a, a rarity and, and that's a wonderful thing.